Hey guys, from Slider here, and welcome to a new episode of Playtime. This time I am playing Captain America and the Avengers. That was originally released in 1991 for the arcades, but I'm playing this on the Sega Mega Drive version, which was released a year later in 1992. And as you can see, there are four characters here. There's Captain America, Iron Man, the Vision, and Hawkman, but I'm going to play as Captain America, seeing he is top billing here. And this is just a little bit of exposition here main plot of this game is to basically stop the Red Skull, who is the arch nemesis of Captain America. Scene 1, The Avengers. Now, we haven't done this in quite a while. I've been in Los Angeles for the past week, enjoying all the sun and sunny, sunny sand in Santa Monica, and I had a great time. But it's nice to go out, get, get a holiday, be refreshed, and but we're back to action, so let's get down to it. Come on. Now I've got to take out these guys, and I'm getting my butt handed to me by these robots. Come on, Captain America. This game's a standard brawler. You know, lots of punching and kicking, as was standard in the 90s. There are so many brawlers in the late 80s and early 90s, um, probably typified the most with uh, games like Final Fight, Double Dragon, and Streets of Rage. And pretty much all superhero games follow the brawler routes at this point in time. But it worked. It was very much the formula if it's not broken, don't fix don't fix it. And uh consoles being what they were at the time were limited as to what they could do with video games. So before, before the whole 3D revolution we had these 2D side scrolling brawlers, and they were lots of fun, even though they were pretty much basically the same. Oh come on. I'm losing energy quite badly here. Luckily I've got a number of lives, so it shouldn't matter too much. Come. The trick is to jump over their attacks and then take them down. Easier said than done. Ten energy units left. Oh, come on. He's nearly down. Come on, we can do this. Can, yeah, we can jump over him and can we use... Yeah, we go. Got him. Very, very good. Now, I was saying this game was originally released in arcades, and it was created and published by Data East. And it was originally in, sold in two different formats, one with a four-player... Oh, I'm dead. But there we go, extra life. Back in the action. Now, as I was saying, the first arcade version had a... The first arcade version had a four-player co-op mode where each player controlled uh, one Avenger and there was another two player mode where you could pick any where the two players could pick any characters they wanted. Oh hello. Yeah so and and then Data East went on to create the Sega Mega Drive port of the game before it was then licensed to well, was licensed to Mindscape which created the Super Nintendo and the Game Boy and Game Gear versions. So it existed on lots of different platforms. And it's a very fun game, although the voice acting is uh, it's alright, nothing great. But then again, this game is over 20 years old, so what are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, I've gotta take out this boss, main boss of the level. Lots of tires and barrels to help me. I've got to be careful not to get attacked by this guy. Oh, oh, he's zipping around all over the place now. Just got to jump over him. Come on. Jump. Jump. Got to make sure I don't get swept away in his tornado thing there, which just happened right then. Come on, Captain America. You can do better than this. Oh, dear. Gonna get in there, get do as much damage as I can. One of one of the good things about this game is that you do a lot of damage to the enemies here. If you can get into a place where they can't reach you, then you can really do quite a bit of damage. And well, I'm down on health, so we're down to five lives now. Come on, it's just gotta it's rinse and repeat here at this point. Just gotta jump over, jump over this guy, and make sure he. 
until he gets back to you know his usual state and I'm not doing too well here for all these obstacles hitting me and okay come on can let's bring you down of health I've got enough health to spare myself so this shouldn't be too difficult come on okay he's on the ropes he's on the ropes come on no okay I'm gonna have to jump over him now and wait until he gets into a more vulnerable spot okay All right. And it's very difficult trying to avoid all of these um, all of these obstacles. But if you look at the shadows, it should be easy to do. But okay, he's got to go down. Come on, there we go. Yes, he's down for the count. And that should be the end of the first stage. Yep, yeah, there we are. Let's see how well we did. Some more exposition. Obviously, in these days, it was not easy to create fully rendered cutscenes as the technology wasn't quite there yet. So, instead, what we get is uh, rendered comic book pages, which gives it, uh, you know, its own unique charm and style. Oh, four units of energy left. Yeah, I'm gonna go down soon. Come on. I'm just barely hanging on right now. And jump, jump down, I should say. Now we're about to enter the one of the shooting and flying sections of the game, as it's to break things up, as well as the brawler sections. There are these shooting sections as well. Now, what's interesting is that if you play as either Iron Man or the Vision, then you will fly on your own, as they have the capacity to do that. However, if you're playing as Hawkeye or Captain America, then you get this little plain thing here it's uh you know it, it's good to have this variety i think you know you don't want the game to be completely set in one genre i think it's important to break up the action otherwise you know it just gets rather monotonous and boring really these these are fun sections and as you can see my main attack is to use captain america's shield here that's my projectile attack which is personalizes personalized attack for each character that is going down. You just gotta really just gotta keep jamming that attack button down. It's quite interesting playing this and with the Avengers coming out last year as a film and seeing Marvel's or Marvel Studios plans come together and then playing this game it's very interesting to compare the two I think oh what's that, that is that Tinkerbell? looks like it is looks like I've gained a fairy companion is she gonna help me though? that's the question and take down this plane just stay out of its attack button and it should be going down very soon. Yep, it's about to go. Oh, no, I went down instead. <laughs> Let's get back on the screen there. Four lives left. Oh, Sentinels. Most well known for appearing in the X-Men. But of course, being part of the Marvel Universe, they made lots of crossovers. I think all the... I think all comic book characters have crossed over of everyone at some point. My favourite crossovers were between Spider-Man and Wolverine. Those, those were my favourite. Because those two are my favourite comic book characters. Got some health there. Let's see, is that Oh, looks like we're coming to the end of this section here. Hopefully. Are we going to land or are we going to face another boss? Hmm, what will happen I wonder? No, looks like we're facing a large sentinel. Okay, you're gonna kill us all are you? Well, let's see about that. Well, let's see, I just need to avoid that hand. Bit like a karate chop that is. Got to avoid the fists. 
Yeah, it's great. He's, he's take this down. He's he's gonna go. Oh, I get caught in a vice. Okay, there I'm out. Can't. And yeah, we, he's going down right now. Yeah, see you later. Bye. Now, oh, am I going to land? And there we go. That's the end of that section. Now back into more brawling. Oh, yeah, I hope these guys do drain your health. We gotta get out of their bear hug like grip. But Captain America is so strong he can just toss them over his shoulders. Yeah, more goons to take down. Now, there was Data East released one more game in their Avengers franchise in 1995 called Avengers in the Galactic Storm which was an exclusive arcade uh, for player beat-em-up. Although that game was never released for any home consoles, just in arcades. Oh, oh thank you very much. Now that's another nice thing is that occasionally you get assists from other Marvel characters when you gain pickups and they can give you extra health. Again, you know, it's a mechanic scene in many other, many other brawlers. Um, most obviously in in Streets of Rage, where you have the your, that cop attack with the bazooka. But it's always good to get some backup. I think. Yeah, come on, team. Gonna go up. Come on. There, there we go. And take out these hover cars if we can. Okay. Oh, who are we gonna face? That's not Superman, is it? No, of course not. That's. I don't know who that is actually. Hmm. If anyone can tell me who that is, that'd be great. Looks like he's got some sort of blade attack that I want to stay stay clear of. Oh. Now on. There we go. Three lives remaining. Hmm. Come on, you come on, we can we can take you down. Oh come on man, I'm just down to half health now. Just gotta keep chipping away at him. Oh this is Okay, I'm gonna stay away from that attack. And those energy balls. Come on. Ah. There we are, he goes. There we are, he's down. Gotcha. And one health remaining, one unit of energy remaining. That is surviving by the skin of your teeth. All right. Okay, I think challenge from the bottom of the sea. Hmm. All right, I think this is a good place to stop. This has been Captain America and the Avengers for the Sega Mega Drive that was released in 1992. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter for all updates on what I'm doing next. I hope to have a new review out next week and get back into the swing of things. So until next time, peace out guys.